Whoa, this is the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm here with my little sidekick, Owl. So, I wanted to make a video about the discrediting of the truth movement, maybe. And, and I have actual, I, I can sit here and, and speak of this. So my, my house, where I, where I sit right here, right? Uh, can you see it? The, right here is where the Ventura fire was. Right there. So I watched the Ventura fire happen. I was sitting here that Monday night. The wind up on this ridge was 70 miles, miles an hour plus. Miles, and it was offshore. It's a seasonal thing. So I was, I was just scrolling through some, watching some footage of stuff. And there's all these people claiming. And I heard some alternative talk show hosts talking about like, oh, it's some like, there was no conspiracy. Like, the Santa Ana winds blow. Why the Santa Ana pressure ridge is here is the real issue. And I made a video about that. But the fire was not some sort of weird energy weapon beaming down. I sat here and watched it. It was Santa Ana winds blowing at 70 miles per hour plus a firestorm. My house burned down in a firestorm in 1993. There's firestorms out here. It's a seasonal thing. You want to talk about the conspiracy? It's letting people build in the chaparral. The chaparral is a fire prone ecosystem. If you don't live in it, you don't understand. The plants secrete a flammable oil. The flammable oil goes down into the valleys, causes even more flammability. So if you were out here in Southern California, you would know that the fire roads are on the ridge lines. Why are the fire roads on the ridge lines? Because if they were in the valley, all the fire guys would burn up when the flammable oils from the plants catch on fire. So when I, I see a bunch of people talking about these fires, they burn down the houses and not the trees and this and that. People don't understand what happens in these firestorms? The wind is blowing the embers so sideways they get up under the eaves. Like modern housing codes here in in Malibu, for example, you're not allowed to have eaves on your house. Like go out to your house, and eave is the overhanging part of the roof where your roof wall goes up and the roof comes over. That is the eave. And you, a lot of houses have vents in there to prevent mold. The embers from these old houses in this neighborhood here in Ventura is from the 70s, 60s, 70s. I don't know exactly. There's vents, there's eaves, there's, there's gaps in the uh, terracotta tile on the roof. The embers are going sideways. They blow in there. The houses catch on fire. That's why they burn quick. The, the embers are just blowing by the trees. There's nothing for the embers to stick to, but the embers are going inside the house. And, and what, why, what bums me out about it is I've been listening to it and, and it, it discredits what really is going on with the geoengineering. To say that they're shooting a, a look, you can go about the 9-11 thing and where did the building goes. I'll, I'll roll with that one about the energy weapons. But to say they're out there when the, these firestorms happen and they're shooting beams down and selectively burning houses is total poppycock. Because I sat here and watched the fire. If you had sat here during this fire and experienced the wind, you would have been doing what everybody else was doing on in these mountains, just hoping the fire doesn't start on the backside of your ridge. Like where I live, I live on the backside of a mountain. If the fire had started over here, it would have burned our house down. There was a fire here in five years ago. If you look, if you look at the vegetation down there in the in the that's all burned up vegetation. This burned five years ago. All those all those trees down there that are 
dead, those oak trees burned up in a fire because there was a firestorm here about five years ago. So when I hear a bunch of people talking about energy weapons and these fires, that's not what happened. You can talk about Governor Jerry Brown not bringing in the, the Russian water tankers. I'll roll with that. But then again, people don't understand when the, the wind is as crazy as it was for those beginning days of the fire, there's nothing you can do. The only thing that's going to stop these firestorms is the ocean. The fire guys can't put these fires out. It's a firestorm. I, I know most people don't understand it because they don't live here on in the Southern California or on the West Coast when these winds kick in. So these winds, also you have to understand, are coming out of the desert. They are dry winds. There's no, it sucks the moisture out of everything. So like my plants, it sucks the moisture out of the pots they're in. Like you have to water them like twice a day. People, you have to understand there was no, I can't roll with this thing that everything's a conspiracy because it discredits what's really going on. There's plenty of creepy stuff the governments are doing and the scientists are up to. This geoengineering thing I watch out of, the, like the same people that are like, oh, this or that are like the ones denying that what's going on up in our skies. It's all a misinformation. So when you see these people like, oh, there was some this, no, dude, no, no, no. I sat here and watched Ventura burn that night. There was no malevolent thing. And if you want to know, like there's this video I watched and they're like, why are the, dude, what happened? And this is incompetence of the system. The power got shut off and the pumps that pumped the municipal water couldn't get water to these neighborhoods. That's what's going on, is we didn't have redundant systems. There was no beams getting shot down from outer space. I would have seen them. I look for that kind of kooky stuff. So when I hear that, it really does a disservice. Like, And I was reading the comments and people were like, fully buying into this thing and I've been I kind of went down the rabbit hole and watching some of the videos especially the ones up in Northern California like you know what you want to know what the more likely conspiracy is is jerk offs starting these fires like I think this Thomas fire was started by a telephone pole that fell down which started the fire in Malibu eight years ago that burned down a bunch of houses like you don't, if you don't live out here, you don't know. It, it's, but I will, this is where I'll roll with that. The high pressure ridge that was sitting out here, like you can go to geoengineeringwatch.org and, and check that out. That high pressure ridge could be said that it's being artificially constructed and that's the real issue. But as long as we're talking about energy beams and them selectively burning down houses like that's that's doing the real thing disservice and that's what we have to use our discernment for like like these people making these videos they don't live here in southern california they don't know how crazy the wind is the wind was so crazy that day the fire started like, I thought we thought our own house was going to blow down. Like, the, like, people don't understand how intense the offshore winds will get and how dry they are. Like, like all my fingers are cracked from there being, it being so dry. So I just felt that I needed to, to chime in on that since I actually watched the fire from my living room that night. There was no energy weapons. It was a firestorm. It's part of the environment out here. It's There's nothing you can do when these fires get started except get out of the way. Everyone around here knows that. It's a tragedy that people's houses burn down. It sucks. Maybe we should stop building communities in flammable terrain would be my guess. But other people would say, let's just pave the planet. So... It's a give and take, man. As a person who had their house burned down in a firestorm, it's the price we pay for the environment we live in. Like you want, like 
sun all year long. That's what you get, man. So I'm not, I'm a little annoyed when I, when I see that since I can, I'm an actual on ground witness to what I watched it from my living room. I sat, I, I turned off all the lights that night and I sat here and I watched Ventura, Ventura burn down. Kind of heavy. I got to say it was super heavy. I knew what was going on, but there were no laser beams from outer space selectively burning down houses. I, I'm like, that's stupid. And people propagating that are the mindless sheeple on the other side of the thing. Like, that's the thing. We have a, we have a needle. We got a thread here. If we're going to uh, like, you want to talk about the Satanist running the planet? That's what's really going on. Those Satanist scientists, dude, it's CERN and all that stuff, dude. Let's go there. But, but when you start talking about particle beams from outer space selectively burning down houses in Ventura, like, it's stupid. It's just dumb. Thumbs down on that nonsense. Mm. Anyway, this is the illusion, man. Sometimes I get a little annoyed. And it's right now. Mm. Look at look at my boy. That's what he does. If you want, if you want to break the the chain of kill your television and get your kid an encyclopedia, and have him just sit there and turn the pages of his encyclopedia, right, Bird? Yeah. Making Daddy proud right there. <laughs>